Hello everyone, it is me, Game Hang with me one and today, well, something very interesting has happened. And now I had to readjust my uh, actual schedule again. I know that I do that a lot, but sometimes just things pop up and I have to talk about them. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry I had to get this video out a little bit later than normal, but this one is more of a hot off the presses thing. That Again, if I didn't talk about it now, I was not going to talk about it in the future. But, again, just be aware that that Harmon Smith video is coming. Uh, I'm not going to re-edit or re-record the audio, because, quite honestly, it's already in the processing phase of getting the video editing and stuff like that. But this video is not about Harmon. This video is about Naughty Dog. Now, for those of you who may or may not remember, about two-ish years ago... We had this tweet from Neil Drunkman saying that this is a small glimpse into big things that Naughty Dog has been doing, where they're making the biggest online experience coming next year. Well, next year rolled around, it didn't come. This year, it rolled around, didn't come. And at the end of this year, about a few days ago to today, they decided to cancel the whole project. Yeah, it's great. But uh, a little bit before that, one of the other things they were talking about was comparing The Last of Us to The Last of Us Factions 2 thing to Blade via the concept art. Because absolutely, one game that we hadn't seen any trailer for and only had concept art and that's it, versus one that we did have a trailer for and concept art. Yeah, that seems like a really good thing to talk about here. Now, J-Dub here, of course, also said that Blade, or Sifu Jr., I guess, because this concept art is clearly what the game will look like, even though that's not at all how concept art works. Uh, but what do I know? I'm only just, like, a graphic designer. So, saying that it'll be played on Steam Deck with Max Eddy, then I would be so happy if that was the case. Like, if that was being played on Steam Deck with a Max Headache, that'd be fucking awesome. Like, Blade on Steam Deck would be just great. Like, that's not even a burn. That just sounds awesome. And the next up, we've got Only Good Gamers with saying, is this gonna be cartoony? Even though, again, this is concept art. And, you know, the actual trailer wasn't... It, like... Bruh. Anyway. Anyway, so starting off with the cancellation, we're going to go, of course, with the real Jada, because of course we are, with him talking about how Star Factions will launch before Starfield. Remember this tweet. And boy, howdy, did people remember this tweet, saying that the community community is, is forgiving me, for, can he forgive me for my sins when he retweeted that whole thing with him. With then even Gaz shouting him out, and this was one. This is one of the only ones that I found because I didn't want to make this whole video about J Dub talking about it. But I will say this at the very least: the man was graceful in taking his L. More or less, he said, "I was high as hell when I said Factions Two would release before Starfield." Yeesh. At least he is self-aware. All right. At least he is self-aware. Not self-aware enough to really just not tout for, you know, PlayStation in his moments, being the hypocritical PlayStation fanboy that he is. But, at the very least, he took it gracefully. Apart from, I guess, this, saying, I think Sony First Party will need to stick with what it does best. That live service shit ain't it. Their studio's scared to fail. Either that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's most likely a bad thing because there's pressure from Sony to actually do well. So far, their studios are undefeated with the PlayStation template. That's not really a flex. Y'all, what do y'all think? Let me know. hear your opinions. Not you bots. Your console is dying quick, so your opinion doesn't... Your opinion don't matter. I just... It's so it's like clockwork. Like these like Sony could declare bankruptcy and go third party thing tomorrow and these guys would still be like oh best third party game fucking ever. Like they could literally do that and they would still suck their dick. 
Like I, I don't know. It's it's really funny to me. It's just really funny to me because these guys will never stop capping, even when they actually take an active L. They have to turn it around. We'll get into more of that in, in a little bit. Next up here, we've got Hyped. We've got a couple of tweets from him saying that this clown is the biggest reason for Naughty Dog's downfall. But I thought he was the savior of Naughty Dog. How did, that How did that change this bad? Ever since he assumed the role of studio president, Naughty Dog has been pretty bad, only re releasing remasters and wasting resources on canceled project. All PlayStation gamers, repeat after me, Neil Drunkman, out. But I thought he made the greatest game, The Last of Us 2, and deserved as much praise and to be sucked off as fast as possible. Like, seriously. Another tweet from Hyped is is uh, saying, We let them cook, and they kept cooking until the food was burnt, and they had to throw it away. Next time, I don't take, I don't, next time, don't take up a project you're not suited for, and stick to single-player games. Well... I mean, if you don't innovate, you're going to get left behind. So, Naughty Dog has wasted countless resources and time on something nobody asked for. A simple factions mode would have been enough. And, gee, it's almost like, right, that's been the, you know, shit from the very beginning. It's almost like every single person just wanted a factions mode and a full content release for the last of us entirely like i get ambition and stuff like that but sometimes knowing when to stay in your own lane is great like i agree knowing when to stay in your lane and knowing your pros and cons and your strengths and weaknesses is important i agree but don't sit here and tell me something that I've basically, like, I think most people basically said, no, don't do this, or something like that. And just, like, this is not going to be as good as you think it is. And don't s sit there and grandstand to me in that context. Like that, that, I don't think that any of these fanboys have a leg to stand on, because I'm fairly certain almost all of them praised Naughty Dog at one point, but now they're getting some right kick in the keister. So, yeah. Um, But yeah, there's definitely one where Mr. I don't know how to pronounce that name, saying, my timeline is filled with disappointed PlayStation fans expressing their feelings about the cancellation of the factions, with then him trying to turn it into a positive i guess saying no other fan base is this objective about their favorite studios this is why the playstation community is better than every other console community look you're not as good as other communities in fact i would say that playstation community personally from what i've experienced they're the most toxic they feel like they're the most toxic toxic because they have a lot of elitist people in there I know that that's me speaking as a place as as a PC guy and like oh you're an elitist prick guy as well it's like yeah I mean I guess I am but I at least say take my elitism and put it in a more positive way if that makes sense giving out suggestions to people who want to be like oh well I would like to PC stuff like I talk to people about this all the time I had a conversation a, a bit ago about someone getting a new PC and saying hey just do this and gave them all the stuff that I've standardly talk about. But look, it's not a, a bit a good of a flex as you think it is, is, is what I'm getting at here. Next up, we got Naughty Dog canceling The Last of Us multiplayer to focus on single-player games. Single-player games for the word from a good old James, which it's fine to like single-player games. I agree. Single-player games can be fun. They're really fun. But I, I and I personally, speaking from an FPS garbage, uh, the FPS trash panda that I am, I think that single player games are fine, especially like shooter ones. My my personal favorite is like shooter, like the boomer shooters one. I've been recently playing through a few of those. But look, it's not a W to cancel a game ever, really. A game that was like never going to really come out or anything like that. It's just it just. I don't think it's W to try to turn this into one with a lot of these guys trying to do that. 
Next up, we got the Last of Us multiplayer game from... This is from MBG, by the way. The Last of Us multiplayer game uh, officially being canceled is sad, but the fact that it was done so Naughty Dog could continue to produce single-player games is ultimately good. They confirmed two new single-player games are in development. Mismanagement is clear, but this is a course correct, which maybe um, we'd, we'd have to see. Personally... I think they've been mismanaged for a long time because The Last of Us 2 was super controversial, even though it got the most awards there. It literally took another game coming along that was like Elden Ring that was super hard and like super niche at one point coming along and taking the crown for them to even admit like, yeah, maybe we did not do as good of a job as we could have or something like that. I don't think that that was officially what was stated. But it definitely felt like a, a defeating moment for that as well. Uh, next up, of course, we got Ninja with a... Now you guys can focus on single-player games that you were known for. I never understood the whole factions hype since I only played The Last of Us for the story. Hopefully this means you guys are about to announce a no your new IP soon. You have been three years into this gen and no new IP announcement. And you know what? I can agree with that. I, I can say that, like, that's an absolutely... not completely based take but i would say that that's very based it's very close to being extremely based but it's it's pretty based because the thing is right S the sony trying to push for this whole multiplayer narrative seems to be just not their priority at all and they're not putting enough res the amount of resources that they probably should into this like whole initiative thing and that sucks you know because I would love there to be ways for Sony to try to be better and get more different things under their belt. Because I've, tr I've played some of Sony's games. I've played Horizon on the PC. I've played Spider-Man on the PC because I don't want to get a PlayStation at all. But they're not good. <laughs> like, they're okay. They're not the best. And again, this is coming from someone who's definitely more of an FPS guy, so take my whole thing with a grain of salt. But even still, they're not the best. Like, they're okay for what they are, but I got bored. Like, I played, I think, both of them for like two, three hours at the most, so I couldn't even get a refund. But I wouldn't really want to, because I'll probably just go back to them eventually when I just want to have something easy to do. But they're not fun. <laughs> Like, that's the thing. They're not fun at all to me. They're just boring. And it's not good. I'm just... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's, like, really nothing else that I can say to for that. Um, uh, next up, we've got Old Mate Gamer with a, This is unfortunate, but I'm glad PlayStation is finally realizing how their bread is buttered. What the fuck? And this isn't... And it isn't through first-party live service games some games like gt7 naturally make sense as a live service type of game whereas shoehorning single player ips into the service is not the right way to go cough avengers cough you know what sure i can agree with the avengers at least they've built the, their fall they've built their following on strong single player content to grow console instead install base and as and as a result, achieved strong third-party support and marketing slash exclusivity deals that make PlayStation the best for first and third-party content, in my opinion. Well, the unfortunate thing is, I believe your opinion is wrong <laughs> for a number of reasons. One of, them of the biggest reasons is that's not good. <laughs> like, again, canceling any game is bad verbatim. But saying that they've built their strong single-player content to grow their console install base and achieved third-party uh, thing with marketing and, and exclusivity deals, like, that's just a business. And they've done that because they want to push other things out of the industry, obviously. But I would say that at least they focused on games, whereas Microsoft didn't for a long time. So... I will say W in that regard, so they've, they're have they at least in the market position to do that. But now they've become complacent, and that's bad. 
Like, fully and utterly complacency is the part that they're trying to do. And they're trying to trace trends. Like, every every business is trying to trace, chase, chase trends. Jesus Christ, I cannot talk. But look, here's the thing. The Avengers game sucks. The uh, GT7, not the best. But it's not a... It's not the best place for first and third party content because I don't believe that that's the case because they don't, they don't, they make okay games. They don't make the best games. They're just highly praised because, oh, it's Sony and the Sony label gives it more. At least that's what it feels like sometimes with the people here. So, yeah. But I think that we are going to end this particular video off. It's a little smaller of a video, but I don't want to waste your time here. I will end this off with Noir saying the following. Ever since 2020, Naughty Dog has been a studio surrounded by drama. The Last of Us 2, The Last of Us Remake, The Last of Us Remake PC port, true. The Last of Us TV show. I don't think that that was as bad as people, like, I don't think that was as controversial, I would say, because it was more praised by people, so... Yeah, maybe because it wasn't a video game, so I guess that's true. Uh, but I don't remember that being a super controversial, so eh. But Last of Us 2 Remastered, definitely. Uh, Last of Us Factions, delays and cancellation, absolutely. Can Naughty Dog just go back to being a cool, non-Last of Us studio? I am sick of that IP and all of its drama. And I agree. I think that that's one of, if not the biggest things here, is that The Last of Us 1 was a very good, solid, well-put-together game that they decided to milk. And they went and got some stuff that just basically fucked it. Uh, and it's it's not like that's that they can't like put out something quality. Because, again, I believe that Naughty Dog can put out something quality, even if it's just like a small project. But the biggest problem is that they've just gone after The Last of Us 2 and it got getting all the praise ever. They just seem to have been huffing their own farts for the last few years. So, yeah, I agree with this take and it's pretty based. Anyway, I think that'll about do it for this. I think I had a few more tweets here, mainly like J-Dub here talking about how angry he is about The Last of Us Part Two getting canceled. More MBG stuff about him doing a talking a lot of stuff and getting people calling him out for things. And then, of course, Mr. S-Class Gamer with um, getting the cancellations and being upset about it. Uh, so I'll just flash those three up on the screen because, uh, quite honestly, I don't want to talk about this anymore because i am tired <laughs> also this video is getting long enough anyway i think that'll about do it for this episode of i cry of what the fuck of watching ponies and stuff cry into the microphone and i rant and talk about them all the time uh because that's my application my name is GamePango21. If you like what it is that I do and want to support me in any way, shape, or form, other than sub liking and subscribing, which is always enough, links down to everything in the description below. I have Bandcamp for my music. I have Gumroad for my 3D modeling and stuff. I have even a Patreon that's completely dead, unfortunately. Uh, so, yeah. But anyway, uh, I did want to mention one last thing here. I want to thank you all for so much for a great 2023. I have grown a substantial amount this year. I did not expect myself to grow this amount this year. But in all honesty, I am just happy that you are all here and watching my content for me. Um, I know that uh, I know that, that sounds very weird, but I, I am truly grateful that you guys are, are here with me. Because I love you all, and I think that you all are great, lovely people. And that I'm glad to be entertaining everyone here. Anyway, see you in 2024. That Harmon Smith video is coming out, I guarantee it, this Thursday, um, with even more thank yous and stuff. So, again, one last time, thank you all so much for watching. My name is GamePing21. Peace off.